So hi there YouTube, here's Channel Broker with you. Today we are going to be taking a quick look into Fedora 15 Lovelock in its final release with KDE as a desktop environment. Um, we do not have a lot of things to talk in, about this release because uh, we have already covered all the cool features in the uh, alpha and beta stages of the of the distribution but well, we have here some, some things to, to talk about. Um, to be honest, the, the most exciting feature for me is the VTRFS complete support in the distribution, that's great. Um, sorry. As you can see here, here, um, we have, um, well, I have my partitions in VTRFS, the root one, the home one, and the boot one is in X4 because a problem with, with the grub was well. Uh, you can have uh, complete support of VTRFS in your Fedora 15 installation if you're using the DVD or if you want to use a left CD to install you have to install VTRFS Prox package to have uh, VTRFS support in the live image so well VTRFS um, is a cool feature that have gave Fedora 15 Love Block a lot of performance improvements also systemd um, I noticed that the boot time in Fedora 15 is is minor than in Fedora 14, and also all the operations that have to to do with the hard drive are are faster than in X4. <coughs> so that's great. We have LibreOffice in its well or in its final stable release. If I'm if I'm correct, sorry, um, I'm not quite sure. But we have the three dot three dot two release. So that's great. It's a new one. <coughs> we have here Calc, or Writer, Impress, um, Draw. You know the official LibreOffice tools. Um, in my opinion, LibreOffice is lighter than OpenOffice and boots fast, or well, opens fast. That uh, the OpenOffice, sorry. And that's great, a lightweight uh, ofimatic suite for Linux. Um, especially in the KDE spin of Fedora 15 Love Block, we are going to see that KOffice was replaced by LibreOffice, uh, talking about that matter. So that's great because KOffice wasn't really awesome. <laughs> I didn't like it, um, to be honest. And LibreOffice is quite great in comparison with, with KOffice. Um, if you have GNOME 3 as a desktop, as a desktop environment, you might see or you, or you might notice that that we are um, we are capable to to remove completely a USB device. For example, um, in Linux, uh, it wasn't possible some time ago to use the safely remove option of a USB device and totally turn off the device. If you have a LED to indicate the state of the device, you might see the, the LED uh, tingling um, no matter if you if you safely remove the device. But now in on 3 uh, the, the amount of devices is, is, is full, is complete, so that's great. Uh, complete safe removal USB devices in on 3 Fedora 15. <coughs> um, well, uh, there's not very much to talk about this release. I I noticed um, a, a major performance improvement. Uh, also, the release is is really awesome. It's really stable. It has the last packages. It has <coughs> all the the cool stuff you might need in software. And well, the wallpapers are, are also great. The wallpaper you are, you are watching here is the KDE and other desktops. Um, official white paper and the non one is different but well the wallpapers are great so I love them <coughs> um, I believe that's that's all about I have to talk uh, this release but well um, if you have an RPM fusion problem with the with the GPD keys um, you can go and read the Shinot system blog because we have the solution there the final solution or the complete solution um, there, so you can you can add your RPM fusion repositories without any problem. Um, well, we are going to be taking a <coughs> a really near look into Fedora 15 to to keep you posted about the new features and, and tracking down the problems and all the things you might need in the blog. 
So well, um, I believe that's all I have to say. And have a good day, night, afternoon, whatever. See you in the next video. Bye.